Hey guys, Happiness here. Welcome back to my channel. And this channel is all about different Shopify tutorials, small businesses tips, as well as entrepreneurship in general. So in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how you can go ahead on your Shopify store and create a free shipping code. So basically, your customers will be able to go to your website when they add things on their shopping carts and when they are on the process of checking out, they won't pay for shipping costs. Instead, they will go ahead and use this free shipping code that I'll be showing you today. Shipping costs can be very extra sometimes that can make you lose some sales that's why sometimes you can find you have abandoned carts from your website and this is because your customers may feel bad and like oh I really don't feel like I, I really want to buy these things but I don't want to pay for shipping so the first shipping card will help you to get rid of those abandoned carts and it will also help you to make tons of sales and make connections between you your brand and customers so make sure to stay tuned until the end so you can know how to create this free shipping code okay and before I jump in today's video please don't forget to give me a big big thumbs up subscribe on my channel for more tutorials like this leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about today's video or if you have any question or any video recommendation you can let me know down below on the comment sections and without further ado let's jump in today's tutorial so the first thing you're gonna need to do is to log in on your Shopify store. So pretty much you can go to shopify.com and then the link will come up. You can go ahead and put your email address and log in. Um, also, I will leave the link down below on the description where it can take you straight to the Shopify page where you can go ahead and put your login information and log in to your Shopify store. So to get started, go on your left hand side and find discount which is right over here click discount and this is the discount page is gonna look like so if you haven't created discount before this is how your page is gonna look like so you can go ahead and click create discount code right over here or you can click here create discount they will both take you to the same page so i am going to click create discount and this is how the discount page is gonna look like so the first thing we're gonna do is to go ahead and name the discount code so you can pick the name of the discount you want to name for your free shipping discount okay so for example i personally i will go ahead and type free so that will be my discount code name. Or if you don't want to create a name, you can just click right over here, generate code and Shopify will go ahead and generate a code for you. So this is the code that Shopify generated for you. But if you wanted to make it special, you can go ahead and name it to the name you want. Um, so for example, I am going to name mine as free. So on the type section right over here, you can go ahead and pick what kind of discount you want. So if you want percentage, fixed amount, offer free shipping, or buy X and get Y. So you can go ahead and pick any discount code you want. But specifically for today's tutorial, I am going to show you how you can create a free shipping discount code. So I am going to go ahead and click free shipping. And then go down here but as we go and adding all the informations you'll see here on the summary like everything will be updated from here so as you keep doing it your summary will appear right over here okay so now let's go ahead on the countries section so on the countries section on this section you're gonna have to be specific on which places you want to apply your free shipping so you can go ahead and select all countries or you can go ahead and select countries so i'm gonna go ahead and click select countries and this box will come up right over here and i will go ahead and click browse so 
you can click either you want to do free shipping only in United States or to the rest of the world. So I am currently located in the United States and I am running my business in the United States. So I am going to go ahead and create I want to offer the free shipping only in United States and not the rest of the world. But if you want to offer the shipping in United States and the rest of the world, you can go ahead and do that. But I will recommend you not to offer free shipping the, to the rest of the world um, because it might end up hurting your business because the shipping cost will be too way expensive and you, instead of making profit you might end up making loss so if you want to offer like a free shipping as well as, as well as to the rest of the world you have to be specific on certain amounts so you have to meet your customers like halfway maybe they're gonna have to buy like something and spend like 120 in order for them to receive a free shipping and not just regular it but if you're doing like um free shipping like within United States, if you are located in United States, then this will be easy for you and you won't lose a lot of money and you might also make profit even though you offered like free shipping and stuff like that. You won't end up losing money as if you offer a free shipping to the rest of the world. So once you select United States, you can go ahead and click add and all the countries that you picked will appear right over here so we are going to offer free shipping only in united states now let's go ahead and move to shipping rates so if you want to exclude the shipping rates over a certain amount of product you can go ahead and click this box and select uh, you want to exclude the shipping rate so for example you can go ahead and put the amount you want so let's say like $8.99 okay but if you don't want to exclude the shipping rate you can just go ahead and take that out so this will be your option now let's go ahead and set the minimum requirements so it is up to you if you want to set up a minimum purchase amount or a minimum purchase quantity of, of items in order for your customer to receive a free shipping. Or you can just not set up anything. So you can either pick if you want to set up a minimum purchase amount or a minimum quantity of items. You can go ahead and write up them over there, put the quantity, I mean, put the price amount, or you can just select none. So there will be no any requirements and your customer will get a free shipping. Okay, now on the customer eligibility. So pretty much here, you are gonna have to select if you want everyone to receive this free shipping or just you have specific group of customers that can use this free shipping code. Or if you have specific customers, you can go ahead right over there and search for them and put them here and they will be able to use the free shipping code. But you can just, again, you can go ahead and select everyone just like on this tutorial. I am going to put this as for everyone that everyone will be eligible for free shipping. Now on the usage limit. So if you want to limit a discount usage, then check this box right over here. For example, uh, when I click that, I want to limit number of times that this discount can be used in total. So let's say if you want this discount code to be used hundreds of times, you can go ahead and select that. Or if you want it to be used like only 20 times, you can go ahead and add that. And if you want to limit that one, this can be one use per customer, you can go ahead and select this box if you want uh, if you want to limit it to one use per customer. And again, if you don't want to set up this usage limits, you can just go ahead and check them out. By default, your customers can use this discount as many times as they want and many customers can use this as many times as they, as they want. Again, you can go ahead and set up a limit usage so you won't lose money. And instead of making profit, you can make a lot of loss. So you have to pay attention on these little things, okay? Now, let's go here and set the date where we want our discount code to be active. And as of today, today is the 19th of December 2021. So I would like my discount to be active from today. 
on this time or you can just go ahead and select the time you want or if you don't want your discount code to be active as of today you can just go ahead on your calendar and pick the dates you want so i'm just gonna pick the 19 of today then you have an option to pick if you want to have a last date to end this promotion or this discount code so you can click here set an end date but if you don't want to have an end date you can just not click this box and your discount can be available like all the time it won't have an expiration date but if you want to have an end date you can just select this box and pick the dates you want this discounts to end so i'm just gonna pick like on the 23rd and this is where the free shipping code will expire and no one will be able to use the free shipping discount code so pretty much this is how you can go ahead and set up your free shipping discount code once you're done don't forget to click save this discount code so i'll just go ahead and click save and you can see here shopify will let me know that my free discount code was created successfully and what you can do next you can click here to get the shareable link which is this one and you can go ahead and copy it and then you can share it maybe to your email list or your text list and send it to your customers or you can go ahead and share it on your and put it on your instagram page so your customer can go ahead and click it so yeah guys this is how you can go ahead and create a free shipping discount code it is so easy very simple and very quick to do it but the only thing you have to do is to pay attention to every little detail so you won't end up losing money and affect your business okay so yeah don't forget to click save 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 otherwise you lose every work that you have been doing so i hope you liked today's video and if you do please don't forget to give me a big big thumbs up subscribe on my channel for more tutorials like this leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about today's video and if you have any video recommendation you can go ahead and leave it down below on the description as well and uh, thank you guys and i'll see you on the next video